Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Donjo number 3-CWS. This is a satin stainless steel door reinforcing wraparound plate. The Donjo 3, the number 3, uh, pretty much tells you almost everything about it. Uh, primarily the dimensional properties, and let's go over that now. This is 9 inch tall. It's four and a quarter wide. This is going to be made four inch and three eighths doors. This will have a two and an eighth inch hole at two and three quarter back set. So the three infers all of that, all of it. So if you order a three, it, it's four and inch and three eighths door. It's four and a quarter by nine. It's two and three quarter back set, single two and an eighth hole, all of that. The CW in the part number means that the, uh, the area for the latch bolt is recessed so that you can uh, attach a latch bolt to this and the latch face will be uh, flush with the edge of the re door reinforcer. S means stainless steel. This is solid stainless. This white surface you see is just a peel away protective film covering the brushed 22 gauge stainless. Okay. Screws are going to be included. First, you'll have a couple of 832 by uh, 3 eighths or so flat undercut head. That is to allow you to physically attach the latch bolt to the plate before anything goes to the door via these insert nuts that are here. The reason you attach this, the latch bolt to the plate is your door might be damaged to the point where there's physically nothing to attach the latch bolt to. You'll also get the installation screws. For holding the unit onto the door, there'll be a total of four. They fell out of the bag. I'm just showing them to you. Here they are. And that's going to be for here and for here. Okay. There is a link below this video to a document called Template that will show you all of the important dimensional properties of the unit. Uh, with the, we covered all of them except to say that this hole is exactly in the center at four and a half inch. The finishes up above will be PB for polished brass, AB for antique brass, BZ for satin bronze, and stop right there. All of that material, those three finishes will be on solid brass base material and then finished per the specification. When they say 10B, they, they are saying oil rub bronze, but it's not oil rub bronze. It's dark bronze powder coated over a stainless base material. It complements oil rub bronze, but it's not a true oil rub bronze. And then the S, of course, is stainless steel. This is, again, 22 gauge or 32 thousandths of an inch thick. Uh, and it's appropriate and typical for uh, applications for a door reinforcer. Now, when you install this, uh, what I like to do is do a dry fit, make sure that I get the edge of this down as close to the edge of the door as possible. I will usually have to hog out the end of the door to account for this uh, depressed area, this mortised deep area, this punched in area to get it to dry fit onto the door as best as possible. Sometimes you occasionally have to clear out the hole that's here uh, to get the 2 and eighth hole properly centered. You might want to dry fit it and dry fit the lock as well to make sure that it all fits. Before you pre-drill the screw, the holes for the screws, I like to run them on ever so slight an angle back away towards the hinge side of the door so that when the screw head the underside of the head hits the plate, it will serve to draw the plate tight just ever so slightly. Um, occasionally, I need to uh, physically tighten this against the edge of the door by actually mortising the edge of the door ever so slightly. If your margin between the existing door and the frame now is very tight to begin with, squeezing this in there won't be easy, so you might have to make an accommodation to get this in. But generally, in residential construction, you've got plenty of room to allow for that. So however you get it installed, you know, uh, is how you get it installed. It's all good at that point. The existence of door reinforcing wraparound plates are generally to mitigate damage, to mitigate a break-in, a kick-in, uh, vandalism. They're usually never uh, talked about when you're thinking of a new door. They just aren't. You might have, here's a scenario. You've got a door that was literally built in 1925. Uh, a five-panel hor uh, five horizontal style rail door that by today's standards would be almost irreplaceable, not without extreme cost. You might say to yourself, well, gosh, I'll suffer the look of a plate on my damaged door rather than replacing the entire door. And that's a scenario that you'll see these. 
occasionally I sell these to somebody who, are, who is doing a new installation and they expect vandalism, they expect abuse and attempted break-in, and they want it to be stronger just from the get-go. And that's certainly not uncommon either. The name Don Joe is synonymous with door reinforcing plates. And if you know Don Joe at all, you'll know him for re door reinforcing plates or wraparound plates and latch protectors. There is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Don Joe products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, along with a link to the full product catalog, but the individual subsections of that full catalog because the full catalog's a bit unwieldy. Uh, and you, what you'll notice is Don Joe does a lot more than just reinforcing plates and latch protectors. We're going to be able to help you with a comprehensive offering of trim and auxiliary hardware. The summary of Don Joe is obviously think of them for those two product lines that they're most known for, but extended lip strike plates, they do a great uh, job with that material. And their spring hinges, they do a great job with those. Review the full line catalog if you have more than an occasional need for trim and auxiliary hardware. As Trimco, uh, pardon me, as uh, Don Joe does a great job with that material. Uh, good customer service, good prompt, reliable shipping lead times. The very occasional times that they make an error, they promptly rectify the issue uh, to the clients and our satisfaction. If you have any questions on the Don Joe number three, a CW prep in an S finish or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.